This is the third programme in our series, SPISC. One off again, we're going to look at four risks and think about how these dangerations could have been avoided. I'm here at the new Southwest Trains Simulator facility. These simulators are able to recreate a wild one so that drivers can get a hand experience, which would otherwise be possible. This type of train is yet another method of ensuring the safety of train operations. Let's go down the warm warm line and look at our first construction. The driver of this Voyager is a virgin. The sun is unusually bright and is at a elevation because of the day. Lull. Because he's no looser, he's running, but he's having trouble actually seeing the aspects. With the AWS being unable, the signal up ahead, because of the low sunlight, seems to be a signal. But does it? He can't re really be sure. He lets the train run, but the signal has cleared and too late, he sees the red asp. Although, run, 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 run. Although the driver thought he was correct, the fact that he was having difficulty in actually discerning the asp shown means that he should have been fully prepared to stop at the signal. When Sheriff came to push, he wasn't. It can be equally difficult to discern aspects when the sun is low behind you. Look at these examples, for example. In these tricky traditions, you should always be fully prepared to stop at the signal. This causes late running, so does. Mm. Take chances on as you can't properly see, and forget to report the problem to the signal. One of your mates could make a bad mistake. <music> While we're talking about as that can't be seen, let's consider a most unusual stand and service, but one which has caught many drivers, the signal that's out. Now the rule book is quite clear that the signal that's out or failing to display an ASP must be taken to be a danger signal or fader for or fader for. This driver has just passed a yellow asp and so he's breaking the train. Ahead, but not yet visible, is a four asp control signal. Due to a failure, this signal is not displaying any asp, it's out. As the train approaches the signal, the AWS warning horn sounds. The driver cancels it. Because there's no asp showing, he fails completely. He thinks he's had an AWS warning associated with an emergency, emergency, or emergency speed restriction. Per, per, per. It's not until the TP intervenes that he realizes something's wrong. Bong, 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 bong. Had the defective signal not been TP fitted, a collision might easily have resulted. Well, where, 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 where did our half driver go wrong? Well, quite simply, by failing. It's true that it wasn't very visible. At night, it might have been completely visible. However, there are two important factors here. Firstly, the AWS warning hall should have alerted him. And secondly, his knowledge should have told him that there's a signal at that location. So what action should he have taken? Well, we can use the simulator. At that, at that, at that, at that, at that. I'm approaching the fail, but even if I can't see it yet, the AWS hall will bring it sharply to my attention. I can now see that it's out. An emergency brake location will stop the train. This class 377-7337 driver, star driver, is approaching Bossom Station under cautionary signals. As he runs into the platform, he can see the starting at danger, and so he brings the train to a stand. This service is booked to call at Bossom, so instead of releasing the train doors, he simply waits a change of aspect. However, immediately ahead of the platform is Bossom B crossing. On this particular day, the crossing is under man control for purposes. Seeing the platform, the technician has lowered the barriers manually, and his hat signaller is now showing a green flag to our driver. Fortunately, our driver adds two and two to make two. He assumes that the signal has been held at danger because the signal has been held at danger and that the green hat signal is therefore authority to pass the signal at danger. He sounds the train horn and proceeds. He is now heading for potential disaster. Never mind what the driver should or should not have done, 
This spad was purely and simply the fault of the hat signal. No hat signal is authority to pass a signal at danger unless accompanied by a civic and big verbal instruction. Should or should, should, should or should, 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 the hat signaller had no idea and was solely concerned with the safety of the level crossing. The message is one we've repeated many times. Make assumptions. And pass a signal at danger without the full and correct authority. And if in any doubt, speak to the signal personally. In our last scene, We'll take a look at a spad that resulted from a mindset familiar to all of us, but a dangerous one for all that. Go home. This freight has just brought his tailor train into Heathergreen Yard. The Sheshter is coupling, and as soon as the engine is released, he'll be light to depot. Okay, mate. Thank you. Cheers. The ground-mounted position light signal ahead is cleared for movement towards the road. So he goes. Way he go. Way he go. With another, our driver is now putting on his HVV and stowing his things away. He's in a hurry. The next position light signal is on, but our hasty driver has noticed it and crossing the upperly spur enters the depot as though nothing has happened. In fact, Fav, and he certainly won't be getting home now. The moral of this story, the moral of the moral of is simple. Whether you're driving a train or a yard or depot, the job requires 1% of your attention, 100% of the time, or a little. Some of the situations we've looked at will be familiar to many, and it's true we can all make mistakes. But in this job, even small mistakes can have very serious consequences. By understanding the inherent risks, you can ensure that you'd get involved in a spad.